<laughs> you caught me. Just checking out Bryce and Bunny YouTube fitness channel there. You caught me. So something that I usually like to do is just start my day. Classic content. Classic content. Anyway, you've all been calling for a day in the life of an online coach and you know Oh, I want to see what you do all day. You know, what makes a successful online coach, nutritionist, and personal trainer? So this is how my day looks. Always want to be smart. I treat this just as my, this is my office. So just because I'm not going out to work doesn't mean that I have to present any less. So I've been up at 4 a.m. Because if you don't get up at 4 a.m., are you even working? And we'll go through sort of my daily routine. I thought I'd just bring in uh, a sense of what I do. And people look at me and say, Mike, you're, you know, one of the nation's favorite online coaches. You're an educator, you're a comedian, you're a friend. Can we see what your day looks like? And I say, sure, of course you can, come on in. Look at what it takes to be the best. And people say, oh, you know, at TM Cycles, he's, <clears throat> he's not as good as you. And I say, yeah, don't knock him. I say, don't knock him. I'm sure he couldn't sit and, you know, manage X amount of clients that I've got, you know? But I'm, and I'm sure that I couldn't run a membership site like it. I could probably run a membership site like that. And that's, that's probably what spurred him on, if I'm honest. So, if only people would come and say, Mike, what does it take to get a client in, lead acquisition, get them in, set them up, develop coach-client relationship, you know, how do you get such amazing results that not only last the, the, the time span of the work with you, but continue success out of the coach-client relationship? How do you get that? And I wish that more people would come and say, and that's a tragedy. Start, start work. Oh, Dan's ringing. Just must. Just. Okay. Hello? Hello? He's gone. Yeah. Yeah. I know, yeah. So just, yeah, just double, double the plan. Yeah. yeah, no, I'm sure. Oh, the shakes will go. No, no, they're nothing. They're nothing. Do you want it? <laughs> yeah. I know, yeah. All right, mate. Well, uh, let me know if uh, if if the uh, the vomiting gets too much. Okay. Cheers, just another part of my job there, just client calls. Just another one of my clients just telling me what an excellent job I'm doing. Just wanted a bit of advice really around his, uh, his nutrition. I don't have qualifications per se, but experience outweighs qualifications, I think. And you know, I've given out hundreds and hundreds and hundreds of meal plans. A lot of them end up working, you know, and, and I've seen some impressive results. So yeah, just, just another part of my job is just taking just taking some calls um, from some clients who, who need them really. Feedback, as always, always good, always nice to hear. Always good for them, a little morale boost, it's always good. So um, yeah, better, better crack on. Just check the old HRV. HRV is perfect, perfect. Whoa, am I ready boy to train? My, uh, my watch says so. Doing a bit of online online programming on my iMac. <laughs> iMac, Apple, yeah, good, isn't it? Um, they're great, they are. <laughs> Ring light up, leveled up. Oh, what the tag? 
Gucci, isn't it? Just, yeah, Gucci. And the wallet there, oh, it's Gucci as well. Embarrassing, isn't it? I mean, Gucci, everything. Yeah, crazy. Anyway, we're gonna work on that lion mindset, you know? You are the boss, like, you know? I love that, about being self-employed, online coach. <clears throat> That's the best thing, isn't it? And you know, wake up in the morning, fancy a lion today, Mike. Have a lion then, hike, you know? Roll over, go back to bed. But yeah, so when I'm not doing my fastest cardio, I can I can I can do that. But yeah, so just running through some some client plans now. I've got about 200 people on on my books. People say, oh, how do you manage all those? And I just say, look, it's easy. You give them all the same plan because at the end of the day, food is food, food is fuel, and as long as you know you're on the ball, you're you're telling them to work hard. And again, that. It's, it's all in their mindset. You know, if they come to me with a problem, and I say, look, let, a problem halved is a problem shared, you know, whatever it is, problem shared, problem halved, doesn't matter, whatever way around it is. And I say, come to me with your problems, and say, oh, I can't train, you know, because, you know, my daughter's not very well. And I'll say, do you even care? Do you even care about results? Coming to me with my daughter's ill. You didn't see Ronnie Coleman bothered about his daughter being ill, did you? Oh, my, I can't, I can't train. I've got, I've been doing 14 hour shifts. Shut up, fuck off. Go away then, I don't want you as a client. Unbelievable sometimes. So, just doing the most important thing for your training. Lord's walking, so this is my best friend. This is my best friend. This is my best friend. To be fair, this is what's going to get me that win in, you know, 20, whatever year it's going to be. It, this, this right there. But anyway, just, just finishing my meal planning and people think it's all chicken and broccoli and say, oh, you know, Mike, I, I, but I don't like chicken. I say, it's not just chicken. Oh dear, oh dear, I'm popping out of my bloody top. It's the chest, it's the chest. You know, in in for a push session. It's the clavicular head. It's the it's the clavicular head that's doing that. Well, people say, Mike, I don't like chicken. I say, not just chicken that you have to have. You know, you've got chicken, chicken sausages. You know, turkey, turkey sausages. It doesn't stop at that. Turkey mince. You know, there's lots of things like prawns that you can have. You know, white fish. You know. So don't think you're let turkey burgers limited to to, to, to to that. And if you want it enough, you'll eat it. It's as simple as that. And I just have to question your work ethic. And if you're not willing to outwork, and I am spelling work with a knee, because that's how it's said and that's how it's done. If you're not willing to outwork, don't expect results. But anyway, I'm just lock blocking. If you were brief that, look at that. It just says. You know, just simply, I don't know if that'll, I don't know if that'll tell you, but just simply, and certainly a, a mantra that I live by, you know, in a forward by Jordan Piers, so um, it, it says just take it and this will show. Um, and that's good enough for me. Hmm. <laughs> you know what the problem is? What? You got it set to M for mini, when it should be set to W for Wumbo. Patrick, I don't think Wumbo is a real word. And that's good enough for me, so when I'm in there, um, if it's there, I'll, I'll take it. So as many plates per side as I can do with, with, with good form, which is sound, solid advice. And if it's there, um, it'll take it and it will it'll show. So it's something that I never leave home without. You know, it's just, just some of, my, some of my, my sessions in there logged. Just logged. Sometimes I write some philosophical quotes in there as well. 
Because I like to turn my hand to most things. Why stop an online coach when you can, you know, be knowledgeable about everything and anything and have an opinion on everything? <laughs> ten, just, just the 10,000 steps before 10 a.m. <laughs> yeah, crazy that, isn't it? Yeah. We'll do like a behind the scenes video of how we like being successful YouTubers and again playing on the whole like yeah we're successful YouTubers. And I and I said that it was okay, did I? <laughs> yeah. yeah. Okay. So just um, you've got my permission, so yeah. So we'll, 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 what we'll do is we'll uh, we'll play it we'll we'll play it. so Michael played a character which is really like yeah we're big time YouTubers you know two thousand subscribers things are going amazing character. and and like <laughs> pretend. Pretend that he, obviously with the camera, he's like, yeah, just turn it on, that's what you do, just turn it on, press go. And then I'll get video footage of me on like Final Cut Pro going over like color grading and you know, all that sort of stuff. Yeah. And then I'll just be like, yeah, you know, this is what, this is how we do it. And he'll pretend that it's just really, really easy and that it's no hard work at all. All he has to do is film it, it gets edited and uploaded and then it happens. Color grading? Yeah. Color grading? <laughs> yeah. Well, <laughs> yeah. Color grading, what do you think I am? Fucking batty boy. So, just got off with Harry and Dan, uh, they're two guys that work for me. So obviously building the empire and, you know, exponential growth. Um, straight to the top, started with nothing. And, you know, just, just telling them what to do mainly and assimilating things and streamlining the whole enterprise, really. But yeah, so, so big things to come. And so, so look out for, look out for those. And often, you know, people ask me, do I want, you know, do I think I'm a good boss? You know, or would I be preferred to be considered a boss or a friend? And I say that the two things are not mutually exclusive. I would say, look, I wouldn't hang out with them if I didn't work with them, sure. But I still like to think I'm, I'm a fairly decent friend to them, you know, if they've ever, you know, if they've ever got a problem, then they can take the day to themselves and, and just figure out you know, what they want to do with their life. You know, I remember the time where Dan was was homeless and, you know, I could have said, I could say, get back to work, you know, crack the whip, but I said, look, it's 2 p.m. He's clocking off at seven, as usual, so take the five hours free and, you know, sort out some digs. And luckily, you know, he, he, he ended up on somebody else's sofa and back to work at um, 7 a.m. the next morning. So again, people say, oh, you know, would you, you know, how do you handle being a friend and a boss? And it's pretty easy. It's pretty easy, to be honest. So obviously my, with my work, I'm kind of not just an online coach and you know nutritionist and all round entertainer, but I'm, I'm seen as more of a spiritual guide, more of a spiritual guide, a bit like Jesus really, you know, except probably better looking, um, to be honest. Better kept beard, hair, um, probably bigger chest. But the premise is still the same. I think he went around talking to people and, you know, feeding people as well. The fish and the, the, the bread loaves and that kind of thing and water into wine. And I feel have been smart, probably gone with gins, less calories, but each to his own. But yeah, I'm kind of more like a spiritual guide now because I've obviously had so much experience in life and, you know, I've got to this ripe old age and I've been doing coaching for, for one or two years now. And, you know, it, it leads me to to make these informed decisions and look just some things that I like to come up with just some just some quotes and I can, I can literally just just think of one just just now do something today that your future self will thank you for think about it do something today that your future self will thank you for simple as that you know and as I've always said we are what we repeatedly do Excellent then is not an act but a habit. Think about that. Habits. Habit based nutrition. You know, make sure that you're taking your blood glucose. Make sure you're wearing vibrams. Make sure you're checking HRV. Habits, see? You know, that's just something that's come out of come out of there. And you know, I've got loads. Some people are so far behind in the race that they actually believe they're leading. That one doesn't make much sense. Strength does not come from physical capacity. It comes from an indo in, in, it comes from having a will. <laughs> just a client, just one of my online clients is in Singapore, big Lexi. Just checking the, checking the 23 degrees in 
for Singapore. So, <laughs> yeah, I watch it. So, I want to talk about a few things that I recommend my clients to get. Oh, put that up there. It's embarrassing, isn't it? <laughs> Stop doing that. <laughs> They've got that out. Throw that away, actually. Just put that in the bin later. But yeah, so as an online coach, there's plenty of things that I recommend that you're going to need to get. So the first thing is is obviously Vibrams. Um, quite obviously Vibrams um, because. And you know, there's other things that are, that, that are just coming out in Aura Ring. So code um, code below for that one. So Aura Ring is important to know how well you've slept. You know, the old fashioned method of just knowing whether you've had a good night's sleep, whether you feel rested, that's obsolete. Move with the times, sure. I move too bloody fast sometimes. You're obviously gonna need a JP login. That's where you're gonna get most of your valuable information. Some people say plagiarize, I don't. I say take inspiration from. So we'll just take inspiration, so JP login, just basically just copy some of that in there, all of that. So that's another thing you'll need. You'll need a set of AirPods to listen to Joe Rogan on the podcast. Uh, you know, that's that's always that's always an important part of being an online coach. So yeah, just a few things amongst others. Uh, blue light blockers, again, I'll be sticking mine on just after this video. Obviously, I wouldn't be without them. So just a couple of things that I'm asking clients to get. Okay, so now the part of the day where we get the uh, where we get the thumbnail. You know, people say, who is the creative driving force behind the videos? And obviously that's this one. But when donkey work needs doing, then that's when I call upon Dan and Harry. We make a great team together, you know? A little bit, a little bit slow, desperate times sometimes. But yeah, so I think we'll, uh, we'll wrap up there. So that is a wrap for a day in the life of one of the nation's most successful online coaches. So, you know, a lot of people are gonna to try to emulate what they've seen here, but don't. Be your own person, and yes, of course, that person's not gonna be as good as this, obviously, but you can still be all right. And it's my job to say, you can do an all right job, and you might not earn what I earn, get the notoriety that I've got, and be adored by everyone. So if you take anything from that, it's, it's just that, you know, this is what it takes to be the best, but it's okay for you to not be the best. Just sometimes you just have to accept that. So we'll leave it there. I hope you've, you know, enjoyed, enjoyed this, you know. I know that my hair hasn't. We are in quarantine and it's not gone the best, I'll be honest. Broke character there, that's back to the old me. But we'll wrap up and until the next one, you know, stay, Consistent, because that helps everyone.